Yes, so, so my question is uh, on justice yes. in human society. Yes. It is difficult for me to understand also why, for instance, you see the relationship between, for instance, the Western world and, say, Africa, for instance, runs on the same cause ever since, perhaps. I mean, from the days of slave trade to the days of colonialism, and even now the exploitation still continues. And what I fail to understand, I have not been able to understand very well, is how justice works in a situation like this, whereas the, those who are apparently, because somebody might not agree with me, who are being the, doing the wrong thing, perhaps, you know, persecuting others or suppressing them, seem to be in the ascendance that is becoming more and more powerful. And the victims seem to be going down and down. So how can one explain justice in this kind of situation? I, I'm afraid that I'm, I have not yet fully comprehended the nature of this question decisively, clearly. Yes. If you mean that uh, those colonial powers, which according to you have been involved in uh, perpetrating all sorts of atrocities and crimes against the poor, defenseless African people, and they have seemed to have run away with this. Yes. Where is the justice of that? Is that the question? That is the question. Okay. Yes. And where is the justice of those Africans who once they began to rule their countries, they mistreated their own people, they usurped the rights of their own people, no white skin was involved. It was the black hands who turned murderer when they got the state power behind them. Right or wrong? That's right. That's right. Where is the justice there? So the justice is not a racial issue. Justice is neither on this side nor on that side. The reasons for violation of justice lie deeper in human morality. And that can only be done with reference to God and in no other way. Otherwise, the rule that the man knows here on earth is that might is right. So whoever gets the might, he's pro he proves himself to be wrong. And what, whenever he is proved to be wrong, from a religious point of view, he's unjust. But from the formula which is working in the secular world, his wrong is also right, because might is right. It is imposed, it is maintained, and he runs away with whatever he does. So we are talking of a chaotic world where the rule of God is not established. And as such, the issue of justice and moral way, from moral viewpoint cannot be raised. Return to God and commit yourself to the will of God offering your complete subservience to his will, then the justice will begin to play its role, only then. And then the questions will be raised, why such a people who have really submitted to the will of God can also act contradictory to what they have committed? But these people are free. You are free. Africans are free. The West is free. Free? to enslave others. Right? Or wrong? Right. <laughs> yeah.